Thanks to Precision Agri Services for sponsoring this cab cam series. And in 2024, we're kicking off harvest in a kind of unfortunate way. Uh, John Settlemeyer was very kind to uh, take me up in a plane today to see some of the drought activity that we're uh, looking at around the state. Uh, first off, John, John Farms in Warren County. And tell me a little bit about what you're seeing on the home farm in terms of this dry weather here in 2024. Uh, Matt, we're three and a half inches below normal for the year, but I think uh, we're at least an inch and a half in the last three weeks below normal. We haven't had any moisture at all for, I'm going to say, 15 days. The yard's completely dead, and the, the crops are turning very quickly, very dry. And then uh, John and I just got to fly up. Uh, we're starting off here in Fairfield County. We flew down to Pickaway County over Circleville and then flew over to Athens, which is a swath of some of the driest parts of uh, what is going to be a historic drought here in 2024. Uh, in your time farming, John, how's this year stack up in terms of what we're seeing here around, around the state of Ohio? Uh, you know, I think the last time we had a drought this bad was probably in the early 80s, and I don't remember that so well. So, so for me, this is extreme drought, and it's dangerous. I mean, there's so many possible fire locations, you know, there's fuel everywhere looking for a reason to burn and there's no rain in sight. We got another seven days with no rain. So it's just, it's amazing how dry it is for this early in September. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we are just at the start of September here. We did see a few combines running today, uh, including down in that Pickaway County area. And how far ahead of schedule are we for some of these folks uh, in Southern Ohio in terms of harvest? Yeah, in Warren County, we're probably 10 days early. Normally we start about the 25th, 27th of September, right after Farm Science Review. And this year, we're going to have some stuff ready probably the 12th or the 15th of September. And it, the further south and east you get, the, the earlier they are. I mean, you know, there, we saw three combines today running corn, and there was a couple fields, you know, two or three pretty good-sized fields already harvested. And a lot of those yields are in the 80 to 120 bushel range, I would think, just based on what we've uh, been seeing and hearing from around the state, but also and talking to some of the folks that are out here harvesting already. So pretty challenging conditions. We saw some pivot irrigation that just showed you how dry and how early this crop is really declining. Uh, what were your, some of your observations from the flight? You see a lot of uneven drought. So you see spots within a field of soybeans that looks almost like the spots on a toad's back perhaps uh, but the normally you'll see one or two of those in a whole field this time of year now probably 90 90 to 95 percent of the field is already uh, drying out and showing that so yeah it's it's tough spots on a toad's back that's a good cab cam reference i really like that Got that from a Saturday morning cartoon somewhere. I can't remember when. Well, the, and in addition to that, we saw uh, a lot of creeks drying up. We saw ponds getting low. They're outside of MacArthur and Vinton County. We saw some really burn up looking pasture. Uh, were you shocked or surprised, or have you been flying around enough to to uh, kind of expect what you saw this year? I mean, that's a brown desert. The spots that we were talking about there around Vinton County Airport. It's just as dry as this runway is or this, this tarmac. There's, there's nothing growing. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's widespread. And uh, the, the, uh, down around Athens, we saw some creeks that were very low and some, uh, the Hocking River was very dry. Uh, so a lot of really significant drought issues. And we've been hearing about uh, livestock farmers culling herds and hauling water. And uh, in terms of Ohio agriculture, and, and for folks maybe that aren't as familiar with agriculture, uh, farming and farmers are on the front lines of this drought. And uh, this is uh, an impact that uh, you guys uh, are going to maybe potentially not recover from for a while. This is a big deal. Yeah, I mean, our prices are down. I think 17% uh, from the time uh, we did our budgets back in February and March to where they are today. Bean and corn prices are down below, you know, 17%. Um, and the yields are off more than that. So it's a, it's a double whammy. So it's, it's going to be difficult this season. Are those yields, uh, in some of those fields we were flying over, are those going to be half this year compared to last year or less? You know, we're 5,000 feet in the air guessing, but uh, yeah, if they had 60, 65 bushel beans about last year, I bet there'll be a lot of 30, 35 bushel beans from what we came across. Now, John, can you tell me a little bit about the plane we were flying around in? It was a, a pretty fun adventure. I really enjoyed the trip today. It was very kind of you to take me up. What were we flying in? This is a 1973 Cessna 182P. Uh, it's a flying club that I've been in since about 2002. There's six members, and they're all four of the six are all retired uh, pilots for uh, cargo freight out of Wilmington. 
So they like the biggest and the best and the fastest. So this plane originally came out of the factory with a 235 horsepower motor. We've got it up to a 300 horse motor now, a 540 cubic inch. And then we've just put a new upgrade on the avionics and the autopilot. So uh, it's just, it's like riding around a John Deere tractor now. It's pretty, a lot of fancy gadgets and gizmos in there. I was impressed. Uh, thank you very much to John Settlemeyer, who was very kind to take me up. And uh, uh, our, our thoughts and prayers go out to all the folks out there dealing with these challenging circumstances uh, in the drought of 2024. Thanks again to Precision AgriServices for sponsoring this Cab Cam series. This Cab Cam series is made possible by Precision AgriServices, Inc. Since 1994, Precision AgriServices, Inc. has provided the best agronomic, environmental, ag technology, planter services, and planter products to farmers and agribusinesses. For more info, visit precisionagriservices.com.